And in statewide news, it looks like tax revenues are bouncing back. And if they continue on that trend, some of the budget cuts in the past year could be undone starting later this summer. But the final determination is still a few weeks away. MTN's chief political reporter Mike Dennison explains. When state lawmakers met in special session last November, they approved nearly $80 million in budget cuts, the majority of which hit human service programs. But they also passed a law that said if flagging tax revenues bounced back past a certain level, that funding would be restored in fiscal year 2019, which starts next month. Now, legislative fiscal staff says that threshold could be surpassed by $137 million. If that total holds true by early next month, $46 million of that money will offset cuts over the next 12 months. Senate Bill 9 and, and putting in place a mechanism that would force the money to go back uh, to, the, to the specific areas from which it was cut is a big impact and, and it's something that I, I think was a good safeguard against some of those cuts becoming permanent. Senate Bill 9 outlines how the money would be restored to various departments and directed to other accounts. But the final result is not yet certain. Balance and legislative staff say the $137 million figure is the middle of a range of possible outcomes. Governor Steve Bullock's budget director, Dan Villa, also didn't say much Monday about the numbers, except that the picture will become clear soon enough. We will know in July where we're at, uh, and at that point we will have additional conversations with you uh, about Senate Bill 9 implementation. That's when fiscal year-end numbers will dictate how much money is restored next year. Balance also acknowledged that some of the cuts may not be able to be reversed, such as layoffs in some programs, office closures, or cutbacks in local mental health services. There have been changes made structurally within organizations that you can't just simply undo. Yet, she says revenue recovery should be good news, both for programs that were cut and the long-term outlook for the state budget. If we stay on the growth trajectory that we are on, I think we, we look pretty good. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Thank you, Mike. The next fiscal year begins July 1st, and the budget numbers will be certified by mid-August.